Hello everyone, Joshua Gillespie here, and it's time for Fraggle Friday. So, we're beginning with the first episode, simply titled, Beginnings. So the episode starts with the introduction of Doc and Sprocket. Doc is an inventor who is setting up this workshop in a seaside town, and Sprocket is his dog. We don't really get an explanation as to why they've moved there, but you don't really need one. <laughs> we are then introduced to Matt Fraggle, an explorer who is going through the last of the unexplored caves of Fraggle Rock. He comes across this hole that is blocked off. Now, in Doc's workshop, there's this box. Doc goes over to the box, lifts it up, and woo! whole new world literally just opened up so Matt can see into our world which the Fraggles call outer space and he heads home to his nephew Gobo to tell him about this now of course Fraggles don't believe in outer space it's just a it's just a legend so Matt leaves his journal with Gobo and as he's looking through it we get an introduction to just exactly what Fraggles are. And here's exactly what it is. The center of the universe is, of course, that marvelous land known as Fraggle Rock. It is thus called because it is a rock and Fraggles live there. Also, we get our first song, Hip Hip Hooray. It's a decent song, doesn't really explain who the Fraggles are, though. But then we meet the rest of our main crew. We have Wembley, Gobo's best friend, who is very easily excitable, but very also very easily worried. Um, he's a Wimbler. He he can't decide. He's like, oh, should I do this? Should I do that? He can't. He has trouble making decisions. I can relate to him very well. And then we get Boober. Yeah, that's his name. And he is OCD. He wants everything to be neat and tidy and clean and perfect. And he believes every superstition that there is. Like, if you tug your tail, you will die. Um, then we get Red Fraggle, who she's very... She's very full of herself, wants to make sure everyone knows she's great. Um, even when she fails, oh, I did that on purpose. And then we have Moki, who is your hippie, calm, everything's okay, we'll be there for you. You need some time alone? That's okay. That kind of character. So, they, they do a good job giving you the basic outline of each character. So now Matt is leaving for outer space, and he takes Gobo along with him, and we get our second song, and probably one of, if not the most famous songs from the show, Follow Me. Um, I love this song. It is just fantastic. It's just a very good song. <laughs> That's the best way to put it. Um, and I mean, they repeat it. They repeat the song so many times over the course of the show that and they repeat the song over the course of the show so many times so even the people working on it knew it was a great song so they arrive at the hole to outer space um, Matt tells Gobo that he's going to send him postcards every few days and that Gobo has to go out into this first into Doc's workshop and get the postcard. Now Sprocket is there and he's not too fond of the Fraggles. In fact they call him they just call him like a monster, a big hairy beast is what he is. And so Gobo is scared of Sprocket, so he's scared of going out there. So he tries going to his friends for help. And this is where we get an introduction to the Doozers, these little workers, literally little workers, who just constantly build and make new things, yet the Fraggles literally eat their construction. 
but it doesn't bother them. So Gobo isn't getting any help from his friends, so he goes to the trash heap. Yes, the trash heap. It has a face and has a voice. It is trash. Who is and she is like their all-knowing wisdom advice giver. <laughs> she has a song that she sings that basically just explains her character perfectly. We also get a brief look at the gorgs, these giant creatures who just want to destroy the fraggles. Um, so her advice to Gobo is if he's scared of being all alone to go get the postcard, he shouldn't be alone. Go get some friends. So Gobo and them all team up and they run into some trouble with Sprocket, but it's easily solved. He gets the postcard and yay. <laughs> As an introduction episode, this is just great. I mean, they literally just introduce, they're like, hey, here's this character, this character. They don't go into too much detail, but they just give you enough so you can be like, okay, I know who this is. You know, which is nice. Um, only problem, I guess, is they don't go too far into like who the Gorgs are. But thankfully, that's all answered in the next episode. So, yeah. Beginnings is just a great episode. Only problem, um, there's so many little events that happen, it's hard to remember when they happen. Like, So, that's my only problem with it. But other than that, it's, it's just a great episode and a great introduction to Fraggle Rock. See you next Friday.